Good morning, it's day four. We are looking at a little bit before 5 a.m. It's hovering right around 10 below zero. It got a little chilly last night. It At midnight, it hit 20 below. And then I looked again at 2 in the morning and it was 17 below. 4 in the morning, it was 15 below. So it's working its way up a little bit. We might get out of the negatives today. Got the coffee all perked. Gonna have a real small breakfast this morning. Just a, another one of those blueberry muffins in the fry pan with some butter. I put a big breakfast to me, but we feels like just a couple hours ago, we ate a giant breakfast last night for dinner. That was pretty excellent. If you missed yesterday's episode, it's at the end of that. That was about as big a breakfast as I've ever had for dinner. Today we are primarily going for brook trout. There's always chances for double digit tog and and I know these guys are they travel a long way away from tog fisheries that they live near and they still set up for tog here because they've popped some over 10 pounds and anytime you get a 10 pounder on the ice I don't care what what species it is it's it's fun to catch something double digit. That's our best chance to catch something big is, is a lake trout but we're also on one of the better brook trout fisheries in the state where you have a chance to catch something five pounds or or a little bit better. I'm sure a lot of you viewers who fished up here at Chamberlain Lake have caught brookies over four pounds, over five pounds, like real trophies. You know, and I'm, I know there's a lot of guys that have replicas or, or skin mounts on their walls from Chamberlain Lake. It's hard to come all the way up here and not fish for brookies because that's, you know, it gives you a chance at a, at a monstrous brookie. But it's also hard not to go for something over 10 pounds, you know, and I'm sure there's some 20 pound tog in this body of water. You don't, you don't hear about them that much, but that doesn't mean they're not in here. Nice part about Maine is you're allowed five lines. So most of us today will be four and one. Uh, a couple of the guys might be setting out, you know, they might go three and two three deep, two in, or, or the opposite. We got lucky, Mark's gonna stay another day, maybe two days, and get to fish two more days. He had a concert planned with his wife for like a Jeff Dunham concert or something, and I guess it got canceled last minute. They were able to text Brandon on his satellite Garmin that Mark didn't have to hurry home for that. I'm guessing COVID's probably running rampant down state, down in the, in the real world, which is all the better to be up here and, be with a few people that have already had it. We're getting joined today by Colin and Slim at some point today. So they might be around by noon and you're gonna see a couple more new snowmobiles and a couple more really good fishermen too. So we could have a couple decent fish on the ice today if things go well. You can hear the wind ripping now. It's kind of shaking the tent a little bit. It's coming out of the south, south-southwest a little bit, which is welcome because I've never had really a south wind that made things colder. And we could use a couple degrees higher, get into the into the zeros. Chamberlain runs pretty hard north and south, so it's hard to hide from a south. You can kind of get into Mud Cove or uh, get into the arm and hide from it. I guess we got our heart set on the north end, so we're gonna go up to the north end. To me, you know, conditions, are what they are. If it's not too brutal, then we make, we have really good uh, equipment for it. We have really good clothing for it. We have a tent for it with a heater in it. So we're pretty well all set. And you just go out and you, you do your best and make your best of it. Like one of my favorite parts of the day is drinking my first or second cup of coffee and taking some time to myself and just thinking things over, you know, current situations, past situations, future situations. And I was thinking for quite a few years, I was down in Florida right about now, you know, <laughs> worried about 80, 90, five degree weather and muggy and chasing them big green fish on Lake Okeechobee and a lot of fun doing that, you know, but there, you know, you're, you're worried about how hot it's going to be or how hard the wind's going to blow or if you're going to get mugged in Clewiston or, or shot in Okatani or, you know, there's, so there's goods and bads no matter what you're doing. You could be up here freezing your tail off or or fighting the wind or, but you just kind of look at your situation you're in and look at the positives and how awesome it is. Like I, I'm not even worried about Corona right up here where we are now, which is one of the biggest fears in the world right now. It's in the back of everybody's head. Not worried about getting mugged. Not worried about being too hot. Not worried about mosquitoes. Not really worried about a whole heck of a lot up here. It's pretty sweet and you know, I could, I could spend the next 
seven days without seeing another person if I wanted to, or I could join the boys and fish north of here. So they're going to be here another, I think, four or five days. So I'm going to enjoy my time with them. And these guys know what they're doing. They're really good fishermen too. So it's it's fun to fish with people that are die hard and go hard at it and and have put some pretty big fish on the ice. I'm definitely going to spend the next couple of days with them. Real good buddy of mine might be coming up. I don't know for his first camping trip ever. I'm going to try to find out today, but we might get joined on this trip. I don't know. I'm a little worried for him because these are not really good conditions for your first camping trip ever on the ice in the winter. If it's not solo, you know, with me here, that means that it'll be double the gear. You know, I'll have gear if he's missing something and I'll be a pretty good safety net for him. So it's not the worst thing, you know, it would be, I guess, if, if he was alone doing it for his first time this far from home. Cause you wouldn't want to do that. If you guys are planning like a winter camp and ice fishing trip, I shot a really detailed video on things to plan for, things to bring and, and things to expect. One of my best pieces of advice on that is on your first trip, do it close to home. I don't even care if it's in the driveway or in the backyard or at your local pond or at a farm pond, but do it close to home in case you got to abort the mission and things aren't going well or you forgot something that was integral or, or you're just not comfortable. It's easy to get to a comfortable situation in a pretty good, in a hurry. Whereas up here, you know, I got a eight mile snowmobile ride out of here just to get to the truck. And then I got like a hour and a half good hour and a half ride on logging roads just to get to a town and then I'm still two hours south on a good day to get to my house so you know you don't want to do your first trip on the most rugged one and tackle the beast right away take the first one or, or night even and just do it close to home and kind of learn you know feel what you need and where your comfort levels are and what you might be missing and go from there and step it up from there I did that first I stayed pretty close to home and then my second trip I tackled the bear and the bear kicked my butt. <laughs> the bear won that trip. I'll throw a link to that video but that's the one where I got, I woke up in the morning and there was four inches of slush right inside the tent and it was not good. Not good. Below zero. Buried the sled several times. Long sled ride out. <laughs> It's uh, it's cold out here with the wind whipping. We got some snow coming down. Doesn't look like it's gonna accumulate. I'm gonna head over and see the boys a little earlier so I can throw some fuel in this thing. I don't think I burned much. I still got one, two, three, four, four or five buyers, but we might make some good runs today. Might make it up to the trains today too. So might as well fill her up and uh, plug in a couple batteries up their way too. Morning, fellas. Morning. Morning. What are you thinking? I think we're gonna rip some lips. Temperature's up. Oh, it's a heat wave this morning. Yeah, we're sitting at right now, I think we're sitting at about zero to negative one. Nice, awesome. Yeah. Wind, <laughs> wind, <laughs> wind got some teeth. <laughs> You're gonna be surprised. Right out in the parking lot's real nice. What do you, what do you call it? She's blowing sideways. <laughs> yeah, straight sideways. <laughs> It is too. <laughs> yeah, blow like a sieve out there. <laughs> well, we got Mark here for bonus day. Yeah, bonus day. Show get canceled. You gotta text us. She'll she'll figure it out when she watches the video. It should be a couple weeks late. <laughs> See, I was gonna call you. <laughs> uh, nope. Show get canceled. Honey, I'm Hello. fishing. Yeah. Wife knows me too well. Yeah. <clears throat> well, that sounds like about a five pound brookie. Yeah. On a bonus day. Yeah, for sure. Oh, something's, something's gonna, gonna something back high tops. <laughs> <laughs> I 
now he's called Lubeck Nike. Yeah. <laughs> Put a white marker to it, you've got a set of That's Jordans. Right. Oh yeah, Put Put white, on white paint marker, them things, $69.95. $69.95, they're probably on every boat. Every boat, every they boat wear east, them to weddings. East of Macy's. <laughs> they wear them to weddings. Yeah. And uh, they used to go out, repin and bushing them and do a bunch of welding, repair work, you know what I mean? I've done that wood. when I was a kid. I've had wood, wood salmon yeah. pens. My father built all of them, chainsaw. Yeah. No wonder you build wood ice shacks and he builds the aluminum yeah, ones. Yeah, he plays aluminum ones. Now they're all plastic. Is there Have money you seen in them it? Now? Everything yeah, I seen them down. I went to Camp oh, Bellow Island geez. once. We're and close to Camp Bellow. Are you? Oh, yeah, that's an outdoor yard. Huh. Campobello? Yeah. Where the Penn site used to be, you'd look at Campobello. Yeah. Huh. Go to Lubeck, yeah. I was in Lubeck. You could go to Lubeck and look back towards that Eastport. Bell. That's where that site was, that street That Island. Big Island right there, Street yeah. Island. That's where I first saw those salmon pens. Yep. My it was an old timer that went, well. My grandfather had a drill and blasting company. And uh, there was another feller in town. Yeah, there was a guy in town that worked for us. <laughs> and uh, of course, we had dynamite boxes, dynamite always in the trucks going to jobs and whatnot. But uh, one night he had a bad spell. <laughs> Gonna blow up the whole town, get drunk. <laughs> it weren't good, there was cops everywhere. So that was a big deal in a small yeah. town right yeah. there, Joe, I'll tell you right now. And he did have enough dynamite to blow us <laughs> off of basically the basically yeah. <laughs> Full of gear, ain't you, Joe? Yeah. Holy cow, that thing is spooling like I've never seen before. I don't think I've ever seen a trout do that. We got it, whatever it is. There's something pretty substantial on it. It's not fighting like a trout, it might be a chub. Oh, it's trout. Nice trout. What a beauty. Just barely hooked. Watch this, fellas. Pop that hook out. Just like that. Get a quick look at them. And get them right back. Watch this. Look at that. He's perfect. Except he's upside down. And the, or he's going the wrong way. Nice. I was probably 16 plus. Nice, bro. I was just over there catching one. Whoa, look at that brookie mark. Holy cow. Nope, pull that. Yeah, there you go. Beauty. That's a big one. Well, we might get a picture out of it. Okay, I got a high flyer right here. You gotta go get yours, Joe. You got one, and Cam, I think you got one. Yeah, you do. Oh, she's cooking. She was cooking. 
she was cooking. Doesn't feel that big. It might be decent. Doesn't feel big. Not a nice brookie. Yeah. Really? I'll get this guy taken care of so we can go get yours, buddy. I can't even get the gloves on, Joe. So That's a half a dozen trout, old. What? 17, 18, 19. If I don't see it, I usually just cut it. Beauty. I'm hungry. I just had one on that trap right there, Joe, when you were way down there. Yeah? I mean... What trap? That one right there. Oh, wow. Heel. How deep? You're out on the edge. I'm assuming that was probably the thing. That was just full of things. It ain't moved in about 30 seconds. Wrap me up now. Hello. Mark just caught a staver. Back to back caucus. We're spooling pretty good. Oh, yeah. No. Oh. Chaps. No, that, I don't believe that was you. Believe that one took a lot. What a brookie! Oh. What a brookie! What a brookie! Oh my God. That's got to be your biggest, huh? Oh, by far, Joe. He's 19 I, plus. Look how fat he is. I'm keeping that. Man. Yeah, keep him. He's dead anyway. Beat him over. Oh, what a beauty! That's a nice trout. Look how fat he is. He's heavy. I'm done. Look at the eggs. Shining right under the ice. Yeah. Man, oh, you're gonna numb him? Chuck Norris. The old Chuck Norris chop. <laughs> that trout right there is. You gotta be close to 19, ain't he? He's short, but he's fat. 18 inch. Oh. But look how fat he is. That's a I mean, trout. I can't. Look at the red on it. Oh, five almost, inches. Almost six inches across. So, Shiner just under the ice, huh? What do you have for depth here? Uh, I don't even know. I didn't even sound it. I just put it under the ice. Like a foot or two? That's the biggest brook here that I've ice. A hell of a trout, ain't it? Yeah, when it popped out, I think all of us gasped. Well, None of us know it. Sitting right on it. Brandon, where were you? I, I was in awe. <laughs> Me too. Neither one of us was there for him. Nope. That's a fat trout. Yeah, we'll have to get some pictures of him. It's already frozen up. Well, they, like they said, they only live to be five at the oldest. Fish is going to be three and a half. He might be five. Yeah, right. Pretty trout. All right, we just got set up. Yeah, we sure did, Joe. <laughs> you got snot sickles and made two inches long. Oh my god, <laughs> bad. <I> get... <laughs> oh yeah, mm -hmm. lock dam. A little bit of fish slime on this morning. <laughs> that was a, that's a fat brookie. I can't wait to see what's in his gut. That's a nice I'm trout. With fat. He's got something large in there. Oh yeah, he does. That's weird. That one didn't take any line, really. I know. Not really. Ten feet, but he was coming around on right. you. As soon as I felt him, I I knew it was. A I had a feeling it was a brookie because you could. It was dark so bad. My balls froze right up already. Yeah, he. Oh, he's done though. That's pretty. That is a pretty fish. Dave and Brook Trout. That's a nice trout. So I've been with you for your biggest trout and your biggest toga. Yep. Wow. Tell us about him, bud. Look, man. That is. So pretty. 
All right, you just got that set, didn't you? Yeah, we just set up about what, 15, 20 minutes ago. Get nice back, trout on the ice. Get back in the shack. High flyer. We missed Brandon's. Brandon got one earlier as he was setting. How big? Oh man. 16 inches. Nice. Man, it run, it almost fooled me. I couldn't believe it. Beautiful. Well guys, we are set up finally. Uh, hard to set them up when you got flags flying. What do we have on the ice already? Five rookies. Five, five, five rookies. I got two. I got one. Three, I got one. four, I got one. five. Yeah. Five rookies. Cameron's got a staver. Mark's got a staver. A couple nice fish. All of them. Good fish. Yep. Yeah. Brandon and I are kind of slacking a little bit with just 17, 18 inches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Whoa, big head shake, but no weight, but big head shakes. Jeb? No, it's trout. Good oh, wicked nice trout. Look at that one. Just pretty. Really yep. See it or no? You can cut her. Spots on it. I know it. Yep. You got it? No, it wasn't. One more. Pretty fish. Yeah, it was pretty pink pink dots on that one. Six fish. Oh yeah, big head shakes. Ho 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 ho! Look at that one, boys. Look at that one. That's a big brookie. Woo! Holy cow, that's a big brookie. Is that the hook right there? You just want to look. Yep. There's two hooks down there. There's somebody's. Let's get him back. He's about 19 incher. Ready? Nice, good release. Don't be a job. Mountain tiger trout. That is a big fat job. He'll he'll make some good pike bait. I'll tell you one thing right now, it's blowing straight sideways. Yeah, she's dirty right it's now. It's dirty out there. Oh, that's a real shake. Oh my gosh, here we go. This is the one we're after. It's a real shaker. Turning butter. It's making power. What? Hey, look at this. She's making power. That ain't no mountain trout. We got white caps coming up there. That's all we want to see inshore here, ain't it? Which way is it heading? That yeah. way. Toe. I gotta get it. Gotcha. What you got, big fella? I'm telling you right now, I hope this ain't a laker. It don't feel like one either. That's oh. a brookie. Oh, it's a brookie. Mark, you gonna do the grab? Yeah. I'm telling you right now, Mark, it's a real one. If that's a brookie, <laughs> you gonna do the L, Brandon? I don't know if he's four pounds, but... It's a decent fish. It's coming good right now, but you can feel it ding, 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 ding. Took a mile while we were staying here. That's like heavy head change. I don't think it's a four pounder, but I think it's respectful for that. There we go. Laker? Rookie. It's no baby, is it? Oh. Might be the smallest for the day. It ain't all that big. It's a nice rookie. Oh. Gone. Look at them eggs spewing right out. Oh, that's a pleasure. Oh, that's a pretty fish. All right, Bob, you're on the board again. I ain't seen it roll, Cameron. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. I think she's fetched up, Bob. Might be frozen, who knows? Ready? 
Oh, yes, nugget yes. 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 That's a real. Oh, I told you it was perfect. <laughs> you did like, say it. Like, what the hell? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> We've been looking for one. That's yeah, the right I size. I get my hook back too. <laughs> that is the right. You get your bait back too. Yep, yeah, that thing's going back down the hole. Yeah, that's, that's a good, good size burbot. Oh, yeah, I think 40. you're right. He's laying on it. The lake has all been going and coming right back onto the hole. It seems like a lot of them. You get the bottom I can hang on. Got a stinging. There he is. Ow! Oh! You know, we ain't lost two smelt all week. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> Took a run too. Literally just set that. Got me. Oh, there we go. What are we doing? What are we doing here, fish? We on? Oh yeah. Oh, I just saw it. Nice. That was awesome. Watched him hit right there. It's Brookie. Just let one go. I just caught one off. Call him, just caught him. 21 inches. Brookie? Brookie. Nah. Donkey. Did he just, have you got a laker? Yep, and a laker. Small laker, probably 20 inches. Ooh, that's a, that's a nice brookie there. Nice, you guys measure it? 21 oh. inches. Wow, nice. Yep, been here 10 minutes. That was that one that kept tripping yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, tripped me. That's my fourth flag off of it. 10 minutes? Well, shoot, you can go home now. Yeah. What do you think, Brandon? Send him home? Yeah, his old lady said he wants him back. <laughs> you got a text, right? Yeah. Snapchat. Snapchat. Yeah. Beauty, nice one, buddy. Thank Give you. Give you a good fight. Yeah, pretty good. Nice. Is that your biggest uh, brookie out of here? Yeah, that's my biggest brookie ever. Nice. I told Look at the colors on it. Oh, there. yeah. Too bad it's uh, it froze up so quick. Right. It was real pretty when we just had a little spot on it. Oh, yeah. There. I don't know what causes that, but. Look at the how pink those oh, things yeah. are. I hope that shows up to the viewers at home just how pretty it is. Right. Look at that mess. Do <laughs> that rattle trap. You guys won't listen to me. Thank you. Yeah, nice you know, whitey. That's a kid Kelly special, that rattle trap. There you go. <laughs> That's awesome. Just under yeah. 15 and 3 quarters. He didn't check camera. Great big cast. It's cask, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Dirty barbit. Cask nugget, nugget baby. Yeah, woo! Where's Kyle when you slap him in the face? Oh, yeah, yeah, where's Kyle? <laughs> oh, that's right. He's changing diapers. <laughs> what are you cooking up there? Boost burgers. You gonna put some of that cheese on there? Well, with three slices of cheese. I don't we only have three. I don't know what happened to all the cheese. I'll rip in half and we'll get that cheese. Oh yeah, everybody will take. I got some cheese. That's the plan. Yeah. Wait for it. We ain't shallow. We not going to flood dry the crap. <laughs> <laughs> that is very costly. Mm. Moose burgers. They ain't much moose burger, but better than nothing. What you got there, Bob? Oh, a little bit bloody. Moose sirloin to not done. Medium. Oh, that won't hurt you. Not done? <laughs> Raw? Another 
general consensus? Juicy. Good though. I can't see how raw it is when I throw it in my mouth. I'm in like a freight train. Right there, he's coming back. Did he hit? Oh, oh there yeah. he goes. He's got, oh, you got him, Mark. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. I love the head off. That is that, so cool. Isn't that unbelievable? It's definitely a bird, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we fighting, though. <laughs> oh, shit. That's a bird, but he's got a good... Bitches, bitches. That ain't no burbet. Maybe no not. That ain't no burbet. That's a toad for sure. Fight my it looked, oh, yeah. it looked like a bird. Good fight. Oh, is that thing still peeling like line? Oh yeah. Holy cow. That can't be a bird. This thing's going nuts. I'm telling you. It's a Leica. It's a Leica. You see it though? Yeah, and he spun right in it. Oh. You can play him out if you want. He's coming up He's pretty fast too. Somebody's probably gonna have to grab him in the hole. Yeah, he's coming up backwards. He's coming up backwards. Damn bird! Oh, it's a decent fish, ain't it? Yeah. All right, you got one, bud. Maybe. Let's see what we got here. What was going on? It spun on? like they spun cool. themselves right into it. It looked bad. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's nice. 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 All right, there you go. Nice. nice. Way to be, Mark. Decent fish. Only a, you only had him by Whoa. one. No, you had him lassoed. <laughs> Let's get a picture nice of that fish. thing. Look at that. Nice fish, man. Yeah, take him up. Oh, go ahead. Throw him down. Nice one. Oh, he's fat. Thick. Yeah, he's full, too. Good one, bud. Good. Yeah. Making butter. Yeah, she is making I see the butter. bubbles. Might even be making power. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I'm not saying huge, but it feels like a nice one right now. Look like it went a little ways. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, I've yeah. seen that knot before. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know it's good. Nice lake here. Oh, yeah. Dark one. Nice. Beauty. Yep, good old classic Chamberlain Lake Tog right there, just as dark as can be. Golden belly. Going? I think so. That was the weapon jigging right there, guys. That's a rattle trap type bait rip and wrap whatever you want to call it but that one is uh smelt colored it's got the blue chrome and it as you can hear it makes a ton of noise and i like to dip that down there when the fishing's tough and see if you can get some action call something in and geez i think we caught all three species on that today jigging well that's all she wrote for the fishing part of it today it was pretty tough conditions but excellent fishing we caught over 20 fish we got 21 inch brookie, 19 inch brookie, 19 inch brookie, 18 inch brookie, and quite a few more. I ended up landing six brookies and a fall fish. And uh, Mark on the jig rod got, he got one of every species that he could other than the brookie he got on a trap. So he got a really nice brookie on a trap. But he caught a white fish, he caught a cusk, and he caught a togue on the jig stick, which was kind of cool. We are packing up now, getting ready for eight or 10 mile run down lake. We're going to be heading right into the wind and, and snow, so it should be a pretty good ride. All right, guys, I am back at the ranch. Today's fishing was fantastic. Day four's fishing. Slim and Colin showed up. Colin whaled a big old brook trout. That was pretty great. Cameron caught his PB trout ever. Awesome, awesome stuff. So great day. Uh, the bites kind of slowed down towards the end of the day, but it was cool to see Mark get some fish jigging. He'd been going hard at, with a jig stick for the last couple days. The weather's starting to smarten a little bit. We're looking at 10 degrees Fahrenheit right now. It's a little bit after 5 p.m. I'm going to get changed up, changed out of my fishing clothes from today, and take care of a few things around camp, 
and then head back and eat some dinner and hang out with the boys tonight for a good time and then come back here, get a sleep in, and then get right back at it tomorrow. Well, all right, it's 8 p.m. Pretty late for me this time of year when I'm on these trips. I'm usually pretty well conked out right around 8. But I'm just getting back from the boys. We had a really good dinner tonight. Had some burgers and homemade baked beans. Slim's mother makes baked beans I think every trip he said for 20 years, and they are good. Had some hors d'oeuvres and had a really fun time hanging out with the boys. Snowmobiled back down here where I'm staying and it's looking pretty good. We got 12 degrees above zero. So I guess that first cold snap broke. I just heard there's gonna be another big cold snap coming this weekend back down into the 20s below zero again. So we'll see how long we're all staying here. I think Brandon and the boys are staying until Sunday. I gotta think how long I want to stay. We'll see. If we can get a couple more big brookies, that should be good by me. So far, trip's going great. Snowmobile's running great. I always got to fight that urge to punch it, feed it the corn, because, you know, you got that power and you want to hit it, but you also, you know, I need a little bit more time running that machine and getting used to it and making sure I'm on good safe ice and, and good safe runways before I really open her up, because, you know, especially when I'm alone, there's no there's nobody coming to save me. It's It would be a recovery mission if if I messed up and got hurt real bad or anything like that. So always got to keep that in mind and use some common sense. Been putting pretty easy on that. New snowmobile is just awesome. I can't stop smiling when I'm on it. It's just, it's tight, it's peppy, and it's just perfect for what I'm doing. It's super comfortable and it's awesome. I've just been eating slush up all week. I'm staying on a slush lake right now, and it just eats it up like it's not even there, which is awesome. I'd be stuck with my other one digging and having a miserable time if I if I was in my old sled on this stuff. Tomorrow, I think we're going to go after Brookies again. We got the two, new, the two guys that just came in, so we got 10 more lines, and we might set up so we can jig some togue out in like 25 foot. And then most of the sets will be in for brookies. We're trying to catch a brookie, you know, anything over four pounds or 24 inches or five pounds would be pretty awesome. So it's a lot to ask for, but we're on a, the right lake for it. Chamberlain Lake's been known to put out some big ones over the years and we got the right group of guys. So we're gonna go after it tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, my God. What an absolute awesome photo. Oh, 